All right, over already? Mila! You okay? Sure, I'm fine. But now what? Hey! Hold tight. Fighting alone really makes you realize how fortunate we were to fight by people like Rowan. I can't agree more. It isn't every day you get to ally with Ilbert the Conductor. What's the reason behind his nickname? They say it's because he gains full control of the battlefield. He once crushed three armies in a single day. The battle was called the Priscilla Miracle, and it helped create the Rashigal we know today. I could tell he was no normal man, but I had no idea that he was such a famous tactician. It was such an incredible honor to fight beside a living legend like that. And how might it feel to fight beside the Lord of Spirits herself? Hmm? Did you say something? Nothing. Nothing at all. Are your legs okay? If they start to hurt, just say so. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> How very odd. When you carry me on your back like this, I can't help but remember flying with Syl. Let me go check on the ship's schedule. I'll be right back. Lady Mila! I finally caught up with you! Ivor, what are you doing here? When I saw your face on the Wanted posters, I knew I just had to find you right away. But what about your duty to protect Nia Kara? I begged the villagers to let me come to your aid. They were very understanding. You imbecile. That's not the point. Don't you realize... Ugh. Lady Mila, are you okay? Your... your legs. Mila! You! Tell me what you've done to her! Stand down, Ivor. This wasn't Jude's fault. I brought this upon myself. But you wouldn't be in this predicament if I'd been by your side. Listen here, Pipsqueak. Handmaids are made, not appointed. One must dedicate his life to serving and protecting Lady Mila. It is an esteemed position for real men. Manly men! She may have commanded it, but clearly it was a mistake to let an uncouth, unreliable, underhanded stranger like you serve her holy person. Now, come with me, Lady Mila. Wait! My father might be able to heal her legs. If what you say is true... I will be the one to take her to see him. I've had you pegged as a phony from the moment I laid eyes on you. Now know your place and be gone! You can accompany her if you like, but I'm coming too. Hmm. Ivor, stop this nonsense. P 
Please, Lady Mila, stay where you are. You will thank me for this later. How dare you allow this to happen? I... Shut up! I don't need to hear your excuses. I tried. I said shut up! It's time for you to pay for your sins, you bastard! Let us... Life there! Phantom Edge! This is nothing! Phantom Edge! Not good. Pretty good, for a phony. Call me whatever you want. I just want to help Mila. How many times do I have to tell you? That's my job! Lady Mila. Mila! I don't have time for this. You two can duke it out as much as you want. I'm leaving. I'm sorry. If you still aren't satisfied, I'll fight you again later. Right now we need to get moving. <laughs> Ivor, I have something very important to give you. It's crucial that no one else gets their hands on it. Consider it as precious as my life. The lives of the four are counting on it. And you're entrusting it to me? I shall defend it to my last breath, Lady Mila. I knew I can count on my handmaid. Now. Return to Nia Kara. What? Your duty is to protect Nia Kara. But Lady Mila, my place is with you. Don't make me repeat myself. G Hurry up and take her. But don't forget who's the real handmaid. This guy. Uh, sure thing. And I promise, I won't rest until Mila walks again. You got that right. Thank you. 